on the, the balcony of the hotel uh, it's not very big um, yeah it is a good morning it's nice and sunny in Madrid um, got up a bit late so uh, it seems to make the most of the day today um, it does get fairly dark quite late here around about 9 45 p.m. local time uh, which is good really um, I'm guessing around about uh, midday not a lot goes on due to the heat uh, but yeah um, firstly I'm gonna try checking out uh, the on-site gym uh, apparently they've got a gym in this hotel so uh, let's go check it out <laughs> As you can see, uh, the gym is of decent size. Uh, it's, it is small, yeah, but for a hotel, it's not bad actually. It's got all the equipment, so can kind of get use of uh, everything here. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be enjoying myself here. Like I don't think anyone else is going to be using it, so I've got the whole gym to myself. Um, yeah, definitely going to be making the most out of this. So yesterday we said that we was going to get one of these electric scooters which are dotted around uh, Madrid. Uh, so I did a bit of research last night and there are different prices for the different scooters. Some have an unlock fee as well, well most of them do, which is a euro and then you get charged per minute. Uh, the best one that I kind of found was a company called Tia. The reason is that they were the cheapest amongst the lot. Uh, it's one of the newest startups. Uh, they don't have the most amount of the electric scooters around the city, but because Madrid's massive, uh, there's probably enough to, you know, you, you should be able to find one. What I also managed to get was a free ride. So to, for my subscribers, I've managed to uh, share a link. If you sign up um, with this link, uh, you'll get a free ride and I'll also get a free ride. Perfect. So use the link below and earn a free ride try for 15 minutes if you like it then you know you can carry on using it if you don't at least you got a free ride out of it Oh, 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 
hard for me since I've been with you. Oh. It's a Retiro Park. Um, just uh, hired out one of these um, little boats. It's only six euros, like for 45 minutes, which isn't bad to be fair. Um, on a nice sunny day like this, it's perfect. As you can see, like the views and lenses are uh, very nice. Uh, it's got to be top in the list if you come to Madrid. It's got to be one of the places that you check out. Uh, like I said, good value for money as well. Six euros for 45 minutes. And I've got a feeling they don't even take care of the time anyway. So take as long as you want, chill out, and pad keep happening. This is the Crystal Palace, um, it's uh, one of the features within the Tiro Park, it is free to enter, uh, as you can see behind me the lake which is directly adjacent to uh, the Crystal Palace, uh, it's a nice ambient place to kind of relax and wind down in the evening, uh, great views. which is um, a halal uh, restaurant uh, where they grill food so the, you know, there's a range of grill kind of food uh, chicken, beef, fish and all sorts of food available uh, it was really really nice what we had was a full chicken meal uh, so it was a full chicken, two fries, two drinks and that was uh, 15 euros decent value for money for good taste of food uh, but on the menu there's a lot more things which were uh, a lot more money so using uh, one of the apps to uh, hire a moped um, this one's actually called Movo so you just find your scooter on the map uh, it'll tell you where the closest moped is and then you go to it and you start your booking. Within the scooter comes uh, two helmets. And it's run by electric as well. They're really fun to ride. Uh, they don't have the same as a uh, petrol uh, motorbike or moped. It's more of a whizzing sound. They are plenty of fun though. They have a nice uh, light display. And they are very quick as well. Charges are uh, one pound to unlock it, and then it's uh, 24 uh, cents per minute. So 
it's not very pricey as well and you can just pretty much leave them parked anywhere as long as you're not uh, breaking any infringements of parking.